Hey coaches, it's Audrey, and um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about coach placement. This is something that's really confusing. I'm gonna try to take it slow and go step by step so that you all can follow what I'm saying. This is something that's really confusing, <laughs> and um, there are a lot of different scenarios. So um, I'm gonna do the best I can, and then if you have any questions about this, just post below the video and we can talk about your specific situation. Okay, so let's say this is you, okay? This is you, you signed up with your sponsor, they placed you at the bottom of one of their legs. If your sponsor hasn't placed anyone, if you, if you go to your ge uh, graphical genealogy and you have two open spots beneath you, don't make fun of my little people here, I'm really bad at drawing. Um, if you have two open spots here, then it's going to be unclear to you which leg of your sponsors that you're on. And it's important to know that. So if you have two open spots, you need to contact your sponsor and ask them which leg they put you on. Okay? So for the sake of this scenario, we're going to say that, um, let's say I sponsored someone and I put her on my right leg. Okay? So if this is you, I sponsored you and put you on my right leg. And you go, and I haven't added anyone yet. You go in your online office and you see this, and then you ask me, and I say, okay, I put you on your right leg. I will, I am growing my team, so you will, I will be adding coaches beneath you. Um, so you're gonna know right then, because you're on my right leg, that your right leg is going to be your strong leg, okay? And your left leg is going to be your weak leg. Okay, so. To become Emerald, you need two coaches. So where do you place them? If you are married or have some sort of significant other and you share bank accounts or you have someone that you really want to help out, um, you're going to want, a spouse is generally the case, you're going to want to reserve the top spot on your weak leg for your spouse. Okay. So and anyone else you sign up is going to go, or the second person you sign up is going to go on your strong leg, okay? Weak leg is for the spouse, strong leg is for the other person. Um, if you don't have a spouse, then it doesn't matter. You can place your first person here, your second person here, doesn't matter who it is. Um, if you are married and you get someone to sign up before you sign up your spouse, you want them to go on your strong leg. And then once you do decide to sign your spouse up, put them on your weak leg. Okay, so let's say you look at your online office and your sponsor has already sponsored more coaches or your upline has already sponsored more coaches and added some more since you're on the right leg. And you start to see that, hey, you already have these other coaches signed up here and you have no one here because you haven't added coaches yet. Okay, then it's pretty clear that this is gonna be your right, this, your right leg is your strong leg. Um, so what you're gonna do is still your first coach, if you're married or whatever, have a spouse, um, you still wanna put that first person, so the very bottom coach here is gonna have two little people outlines. Okay? I'm just going to do circles for this because it's easier. <laughs> um, so you're going to have something that looks like this with two spots down here. And then way up here, you have the one. Okay? Never place on the inside. Always place on the outside. So your spouse goes here. So whoever that other person is, is going to go right here. So, okay, let's say you are new and you're about to sign a friend up before you sign your spouse up. You want them to go at the bottom of your right leg and the way you make sure that they're slotted to go there is you go in your graphical genealogy and you go to the bottom of your right leg and you're gonna make sure that that spot is outlined in red, okay? I'm gonna make that a little more. The spot that's in red, and you can make it red by clicking on the little outline guy, and a little box will come up, 
and you just it'll say like this is setting your preferred placement um, say yes okay or okay whatever it is uh, and that's gonna turn red so whatever the next coach whoever the next coach is that signs up is gonna go there okay now if for some reason you didn't check that and you sign your first coach up and for some reason they went here or whatever they didn't go here um, you have 72 hours to contact coach relations and tell them that your coach that you just signed up needs to be moved to the outside bottom of your right leg or whatever wherever the case may be that you want them to move to so you can move them but you have a limited amount of time um, okay so let's say you signed up your friend and they signed up here okay Woo okay personally sponsored for you then you're like okay well to be emerald I can sign my spouse up okay your spouse they're gonna get this spot personally sponsored okay now this is you're gonna be your strong leg you're gonna keep getting coaches on this leg from me your sponsor from other coaches who are above you between you and me and in, in the in the downline you're gonna see coaches pop up here this is gonna be your strong leg um, this leg you're gonna really build build up the volume on this leg so you're gonna want your spouse at the top of this so that eventually when you can build your spouse to emerald you can earn cycle bonuses off of all this volume in your husband's account or wife's account your spouse's account and your account okay so in your account you'll be earning off of all of it and your husband your I keep saying husband I have a husband okay so um, and your spouse will be earning off of the volume b below them I hope this makes sense <laughs> um, now this is where it kind of gets confusing I think um, because underneath this person so this is your personally sponsored you're gonna keep seeing two spots being available okay and let's say this person is working the business so they are going to be working both of these lines here okay so they are gonna start adding a coach here and a coach here to be emerald okay they are gonna use this as their downline you never place here they do okay so when they go to their graphical genealogy they are up at the top with the two beneath them and they can see that um, their right leg is their strong leg because that's where they're placed and they're gonna keep getting coaches assigned underneath them on that right leg okay so going back to the spouse situation you keep adding coaches over here so let's say let's say you added one coach here and your husband here so you became emerald now you need to do coaches if this coach is strong and not going to go inactive if it's a, if it's a strong coach who you know for sure is going to keep their shakeology hd they're definitely active or they're working the business or something um, then you can focus on your weak leg so you're going to go coaches one and two here doesn't matter which one is first depending on your spouse situation or if you don't have a spouse it can be either way um, so one and two and then you're going to go three and four on this leg okay because you want to build the volume on this leg so you're starting to build volume. This leg is getting continuing to get stronger and stronger. However, to rank advance, you need an even amount of personally sponsored coaches on each of your legs. So you're going to have to be adding to your strong leg also. You can't only add to this leg. You can if you really, really just want to earn your um, cycle bonuses. But as an emerald, you cap out on your cycle bonuses at about $250 so if you start getting to be that that much um, that, or if you start cycling that many times for your cycles 
um, you're really going to want to rank up so that you're not capped at $250 anymore. I know this is a lot of information. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope you're sticking with me on this. <laughs> so to become, after Emerald, your Ruby. So you keep adding to the outside here. You keep adding to the outside and it to the bottom of whatever, wherever the bottom is, you keep adding to that bottom slot on the outside, okay? And on this side, you keep adding to the bottom on the outside for your personally sponsored coaches. So to, from Emerald, the next rank is Ruby. And to be Ruby, you need four personally sponsored coaches, um, and two of them have to be Emerald. So once you get, like right here, you have um, three on this side, and you would need one more personally sponsored coach on your right side, and you would have five personally sponsored coaches. You need at least two on each side to be Emerald, so you would, uh, or to be Ruby. So you would be set for Ruby. And as soon as, let's say, your spouse became Emerald, if you got two coaches to sign up under your spouse, which would go like this, spouse does one here, and then spouse does one here, okay? Now your spouse has two personally sponsored coaches, and they become Emerald. One of these, one of your personally sponsored over here, let's say this person becomes Emerald, they did this, okay? So now they are Emerald, you will become Ruby, okay? Um, so let, so you can kind of see how one of your legs is going to be longer <laughs> than your other one. But it's okay because eventually you're, you're always going to store the extra volume that's coming from your strong leg. As long as you're at least an emerald, you're going to store that volume. And as soon as you can reach diamond with a diamond has four personally sponsored coaches on each leg with one emerald over here and one emerald on the other side, okay? Um, as soon as you become diamond, then you can really start to flood this weak leg with coaches and more volume and you can build your, your spouse's account more um, so that you can take the most advantage of the volume on your weak leg, okay? So trust me, your spouse has to go on your weak leg. Um, and another reason to sign your spouse up, as you can see, having a spouse can help with your rank advancement. It really helped me with my rank advancement. Uh, I, I already had enough coaches to be Emerald, so anyway, he, he did help me keep my Emerald status, my husband. Um, but the way I made to Diamond was that I only needed to get one more person to Emerald because I made my husband an emerald. And then as soon as I had two emeralds on my personally sponsored in my downline, I became diamond because I had enough personally sponsored coaches on each leg. So making my husband an emerald helped me. I didn't have to try to get another coach to become emerald. Uh, of course, I'm always trying to help, you know, coaches who are willing, who are wanting to become emerald and, and succeed in their business. But at that time, when I was newer, I didn't have very many coaches who wanted to do that. So doing it with my husband made sure that I became diamond and I could max out on my cycle bonus or uh, cycle the most per cycle bonus as a diamond. And uh, my husband would also cycle. And then eventually what I've done is I've actually worked my husband's account and he has his own downline now built up where he's a diamond just like me. So we both cycle as diamonds. Okay, and I cycle off of his cycling. I mean, it's still like kind of ridiculous. It's, it's really cool. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense to sign your spouse up. Okay, even if it means that you need to hold off, just sign them up, get them that top spot in your weak leg. And if they need to be inactive for a while until you're ready to activate their account and uh, with a Shakeology order or... Uh, with whatever to make them active, um, at least 50 PV. Um, but anyway, I, gosh, I know this is so much information. I don't even 
know if I'm doing a very good job explaining it, <laughs> but I hope this helps. Just know that your personally sponsored coaches will always be in this line, okay? They will always be like this. Don't ever start filtering in. Don't ever feel like you have to place in these inside legs where you see a little outlying person, okay? Those are not places where you wanna where you want to place coaches. And the reason you don't want to do that is because if you, let's say this person, let's say I placed a coach right here. They are missing out of, from all of this volume. They're missing out from all of that. If they became Emerald, they, they're, they have to create all of their own volume beneath them because they cannot, they're not in the line to receive any of this. Okay, does that make sense? So you really want to keep it all, because that, that's just going to benefit everybody and, make, and everyone's going to be happy <laughs> earning more volume. So, all right, guys, I hope that this helps a little bit. I know it's kind of long and I, I may have rambled a bit, but um, let me know your thoughts and I want to help. Okay, 